And Mine Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. The title of the video is Smart Money Knows. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice and none of the information provided in this video should ever be seen as a signal to buy or sell. Remembering, please subscribe, hit that notification bell and hit that like button so that you don't miss any further videos. But first and foremost, as we normally do, we look at these crypto bubbles and wow, it's looking green. And we just found out that Bitcoin has just secured that one trillion in market cap, which is um, unbelievable, which is great. Have we started in the bull market? We'll have to wait and see. But Quant, we're up one rank to 61 with a market cap of $1.28 billion with a 24-hour volume of $21 million. Quant price currently sitting at $106. And we are up 0.4% in the hour and up 1.3% in the day and up 3.8% in the week. Now, as we know, Quant will do its own thing. And when it does, it will run. This is what we're hoping for. But we look at these wallets. Now, I'm seeing loads of these smaller wallets starting to accumulate. And there, I say loads because I've over the last few months, I'm seeing more and more of these new Coinbase transactions to new wallets. So as I've already said, I think this is all aggregated from buys and sells, retail selling, these wallets just clearing up and slowly storing them away. And as we can see here, we saw yesterday um, just over 2,000 tokens were transacted into a private wallet into this wallet which is a quarter of a million transaction and we can also see again another wallet 143,000 I know yes you might be saying they're small but I've seen these wallets accumulate over time so what we'll see hopefully I've listed this one and I've saved it and what we might see over the next few weeks is this one slowly building up and a lot of these wallets will hold around about a million dollars eventually now I see this kind of cryptic message from confidential and he goes, ever had market alpha so good that you didn't want to share it? Now, I don't think he's talking about himself. Now, we've got to think these institutions, these money men know exactly what is going on. And they're not going to share it. Why are they not going to share it? Because if they do, everything will run like hell. So they keep it to themselves. So I said here, oh, you got something to spill. But then I maybe realized afterwards, that actually, what he's talking about is the big money men the people, smart money, no, we don't know. We're just hanging on the coattails of these big players. And we see this. Now, this is a big player. I talked about this yesterday. And what I'm noticing here is every one of these coins produce some sort of, some form of interoperability, bridging in some ways. We've got Link, we've got Quant, we've got MNW, we've got Roo, all providing access or some interoperability between blockchains which is what is needed. And we look at Lambo for food stamps. Most blockchain companies can only do one of these. Overledger allows you to interoperate and flexibility. And we see here this info diagram, which is very, very important. But what's very important is this tokenization won't be the future if there is no interoperability. This is where it brings legacy, fiat money into blockchain. You've got to understand this. For this to happen, there needs to be a layer of security. And that's what Quant brings. And we see here, tokenization won't be the future if there is no interoperability. JP Morgan Coin, HSBC Orion, City Token Service, UBS Tokenize. The list of institutional tokenization products goes on whilst they all perform certain functions for their creators. And this is absolutely true. This is why I believe in interoperability. We've got to look at those channels that allow legacy in first and foremost for tokenization, for all these other things that we're hoping for. Now, I see this from Miles Bron. He says token performance, yes, is poor with Quant. Let's be honest. However, I'm not buying Quant or the bull run, which he's talking about this bull run. I'm buying Quant because of what is to come in a few years, central bank digital currencies. I don't expect Quant to outperform many altcoins this bull run. Now, he says here, Quant vision and execution is better than any other token by a long way. Equals new money is the start of the next generation of technological advancement. And he goes on, Quant will touch every piece of money in existence in the new digital era. And that's what we're doing. We are getting in early before all of this comes to some form of fruition. And we see this from Greg Lunt. So Quant just released a new video detailing the work they completed with Bank of International Settlements, Bank of England, 
Bank of Canada, Mastercard, Barclays, Amazon. It's bigger than you think. The BIS controls all the world's central banks. Not exactly friends of the people, but they run the entire global monetary system, whether we like it or not. As investors, that gives us two options. Make money off them. Don't make money off them. Personally, I prefer one. Stick with me here. Interoperability. There's that key word again is the ability for total different systems to share data in real time. It's what lets an iPhone on Verizon talk to an Android on AT&T or to a laptop using Comcast, text, pictures, videos, etc. Seamless interoperability. But data transfer alone isn't enough for digital money. With money, there needs to be proof of ownership. Otherwise, there can be no trust in the system. The BIS is creating CBDCs Programmable money issued by governments controlled by the elites. I'm not saying this is good. I'm just telling you that it's real and they desperately need interoperability, a way for different countries, digital currencies to move from their central banks to commercial banks, to cell phone wallets, to private businesses and anywhere else money moves in functioning economy. Last summer, the BIS completed Project Rosalind, a project that succeeded in creating APIs to interoperate CBDCs between central banks and major private sector players in England. A working system for government digital currencies and the whole thing was built on Quant. If John finds a way to connect to Mary, Mary's not going to use a different solution to connect to Bob because then John and Bob can't link. Understand, interoperability by nature is a single product solution. The entire global financial system is being migrated to CBDCs in the next three to five years. And Quant Network's product overledger and thus the Quant token is the de facto solution for connecting all of it. That's all digital government money. So here's how I look at it. Bitcoin is decentralized play by the people for the people. Quant is the centralized play. A bet on those who currently hold the power. You can judge me all you want, but I'm here to make money. The winners are now clear. Take it or leave it. And he's referring to this video that came out yesterday. Actually, this video actually came out a while back, but it got removed immediately. So a lot of this is planned. I certainly believe a lot of the real alpha stuff that's going to come out over the next few months will only come out when things start to move because you release news when we're in a bull market, when we're in the throes of a bull market. So there you go, guys. I'm really excited. I don't know about you. Remember, none of this is financial advice. All I'm here to do is try and connect these dots and look at where we are. It's as simple as that. Whatever you do with this information is purely down to you. You decide what you want to do, but I know what I'm doing. I will hold my quant until I see a figure that will change my life. So it's really up to you. There you go, guys. All the best. And I'll catch you later.